This video will explain some of the applications of percentage. Commission is the first application we will look at. Normally, when you work, you get a salary. But in some jobs, apart from your salary, you get a commission too. Commission is a form of salary which is calculated based on your performance. The total salary for people getting commission is total salary equals monthly salary plus commission. Many times you get a percentage of your monthly salary as commission, and sometimes you get a percentage of the total sales that you completed as your commission. This is a simple definition of commission. In real life, it gets a little more complex, but let's look at a problem dealing with commission and bonus. Sarah earns $2,000 per month. She also earns 2% of the total sales each month as commission. If she sold products worth $12,000 this month, so that's her total sales, how much will she earn this month for her total salary? So let's take a look again at our equation of total salary equals the monthly salary, so we know that Sarah has a monthly salary of $2,000 per month, plus she also gets this additional commission for how much product she sells. Well, in this month that we're looking at, she sells $12,000 worth of product, and she's going to earn her commission on 2% of those $12,000 worth of product that she sold. So our total salary for Sarah is going to equal her monthly salary, which we know is $2,000, plus we're going to add to that her commission, which is 2% of $12,000. So first I'll write that as 2% of 12,000. Put a little dollar sign here so we don't forget we're dealing with money. So as we learned in our percent lessons, we know that we want to convert our percent to a fraction with 100 in the denominator. So we can rewrite this 2% as 2 over 100, or 2 divided by 100, or 2 one hundredths, and that becomes the decimal equivalent is 0 0.02. So we've got $2,000 for her basic salary here, plus we have 2% or 2 one hundredths or 0 0.02 times, because we're finding this of 12,000, so times 12,000. So when we do the calculations on this, we find that 0 0.02, which is 2 hundredths, times 12,000 equals 240. So 2% 2 of 12,000 is 240. So Sarah will earn the $2,000 of her basic salary plus 2% of 12,000 which is $240. So she will earn a total, we can write this up here too, her monthly salary is $2,000 plus her commission of $240. She will earn this month a total of $2,240. That's her basic monthly salary of $2,000 per month plus 2% of 12,000, which is 2 one hundredths times 12,000, or 0 0.02 times 12,000, to equal 240, which gets added to her basic salary of 2,000, and she earns a total of $2,240. Another application of percentage is markup and discount. Markup is a term used to show the increase in the price of a product. Most of the time, the markup is expressed as a percent of the original price. 
So after markup, the price of the product increases. On the other hand, a discount is the term used to show the decrease in the price. Most of the time, discount is expressed also as a percentage of the original price. The price of the product decreases after the discount. So it increases after a markup, decreases after the discount. If you go shopping at Christmas time, for example, you might see signs up that say things like, on sale, 30% of the original price of $25. Let's take a look at some examples using markup and discount. Our first example has to do with markup. Sally bought a toy for $6 and sold it at a 10% markup. At what price did she sell the toy? So the first thing that we want to find is we want to find out what 10% of the purchase price is because the markup is 10% of the price that she bought the toy for. So we start by looking at our 10%, which we know is equal to 10 per 100 or 10 over 100 or 10 divided by 100. And so we take this fraction, 10 divided by 100, and we multiply it by the number that we're looking to find the percentage of, which in this case is our original price of $6. So we take our 10 divided by 100, and we multiply by the $6. Our answer to this then becomes 60 cents. And so we find that the increase in the price of the toy that she is going to increase the price to sell it at is going to be an increase of 60 cents, which is 10 divided by 100, or 1 tenth, times $6 is going to equal 60 cents. 10% of $6 equals 60 cents. Now we need to still take this 60 cents though and add it to the $6 so that we can find the price that she sold the toy at. So now we take our $6 and we add to that 60 cents, which equals a total of $6.60. So Sally bought a toy for $6, selling it at a 10% markup. We found that 10% of $6 is 60 cents. And then we're asked, at what price did she sell the toy? She sold the toy for a total of $6 plus 60 cents, or $6.60. Now we'll take a look at an example dealing with discount. During Christmas, a shop sold a dress at 20% discount of its original price. If the original price was $30, what was the discounted sale price? So we know that our original price is $30, and the discount is going to be 20% of the original price, or 20% of $30. So we want to start by finding 20% of $30. Well, we know that when we're dealing with percents, we take our percentage and write it as a fraction over 100. So this becomes 20 divided by 100, and then we multiply by the number that we're trying to find the percentage of, in this case, $30. I could just write a 30 there as well, and then remember to put my dollar sign in front since I'm dealing with money. But I'll go ahead and keep it as the full $30 as we're working through this problem. So when I take 20 divided by 100 and multiply that times 30, I get 6. And again, that's in a denomination of dollars, so $6. So 20% of $30 is $6. Now I'm not finished yet with my answer. I can't just report this as 
I need to take that discount and subtract it from the original price of the dress to find the sale price. So I'm now going to take this $6 that I found as 20% of 30. I'm going to take my original price of the dress, which is $30, and I'm going to subtract the discount from it. I'm going to subtract $6 from $30. And so my answer is $24. You can see that $24 is less than the original price of $30, which is what happens when we're working on problems with discounts. Our answer is always going to be less than the original price. So if you see a dress on sale that's originally $30 and it's on sale for 20% off or a 20% discount, you will pay $24 for the dress. Sales tax is another example of percentage used in daily life. Sales tax is a way of collecting tax every time you buy a product. If you do not buy a product, you do not pay the sales tax. Normally, sales tax is expressed as a percent of the sale price of the product. Let's look at an example of sales tax. John paid 4% sales tax on a shirt that costs $40. How much sales tax did he pay? So essentially what this problem is asking us is it's asking us what is 4% of $40? And so with our work with percentages, we know that we convert our 4% to a fraction 4 over 100, or 4 divided by 100. So I have 4 one hundredths here, and I multiply by 40. In this case, $40. And I find that the answer to this multiplication problem here is 1.6, or $1.60. So $1.60 would be the amount of sales tax that John would pay on a $40 shirt. So he would spend a total of $41.60 in his shopping for this shirt, paying for the cost of the shirt, plus the 4% sales tax of $1.60.